If you aren't logging all your sub alerts, donation alerts to your Discord server, I'm gonna convince you guys why you need to start doing that right now. Because this is my Discord server, and I have a separate private channel that only me and my mods can read, and it logs every single sub, every single channel point redemption, every time I ban someone with timestamps so I know exactly when each thing happened. And it logs like everything. Whenever you get a raid, whenever you get a hype train, it even works with YouTube too, so it's gonna log your super chats. But what's more is each alert has a timestamped link to my Twitch VODs at the precise moment when each thing happened. This is really useful for grabbing clips of funny TTS messages that happened or finding exactly when you banned someone with video of the full context of why they got banned. So for example, if Kevin comes crying to you being like, why did I get banned? You can just search for it in your Discord server, find the exact moment that they got banned with the video, and then you can just show it to them be like, here. This, this is exactly why. I even made it log hype trains with like a little loading bar. I'm really proud of how this one looks. There's also a separate channel that logs every single chat message that gets posted during my streams. So I have a complete chat history that I can search. And finally, I made a third channel just for general reminders. So I made a chat command that not only creates stream markers, but it also posts that marker to a separate Discord channel. So that way, if I need to remind myself to like, clip something for TikTok later or fix something in my stream that's broken, I just type in exclamation mark marker and it pops up here. So this is a little tool that I made using StreamerBot. I teased this on Twitter last month, so you guys should go follow there. I post cool stuff there all the time. I also posted this tool early for Patreon users, so if you want to give me money, that would be cool because then I could like eat food with it. Um, yeah, come join my Patreon if you want to test some cool toys. I also made like this Q&A widget that you guys can get on Patreon. People really love that one. But for this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Discord server to look just like mine. If this video is totally boring and you're not interested, can you like tell me why? I like work really hard in this and it breaks my heart that you want to go watch someone else's YouTube video. I'll leave a link to the tool and instructions down below. I will be assuming you at least have a basic understanding of StreamerBot. If you don't know what StreamerBot is, you can just check the tutorial up here. The link will take you to a coffee page. You can just put in $0. Download the .nut file. There's also text instructions, which I recommend double checking in case I update the code in the future. Then in StreamerBot, you just need to import my code. So. Click import, drag the .nut file and click import. And that's really all you need to do on the streamer bot side. The code will immediately start logging all your alerts to your Discord server. You just need to tell StreamerBot which text channel you want the alerts to be posted. So to do that, you need to generate what's called a webhook URL for your Discord channel. A webhook URL is essentially just a thing that allows StreamerBot to talk to your Discord server so you could like post messages to it. So in Discord, right click the text channel that you want your alerts posted to, or you can just create a new text channel. Right click on that channel, go into edit channel, integrations, and then create new webhook. And then you can click on copy webhook URL, go back into StreamerBot, and you see here where it says webhook URL, right click that, edits and then paste your webhook URL right here. Now there are three separate actions that I've made for you in StreamerBot. Stream events is what logs all your follows, subs, channel points, hype trains, all that good stuff. Chat is for logging every single chat message. And like I said, this does work for both Twitch and YouTube. So all your Twitch and YouTube messages will be logged into your designated Discord channel. And then the reminders action is just for sending general reminder messages to yourself. For me, I made three separate channels, so I need three separate webhook URLs in Discord. But if you want to log everything into a single Discord channel, you can set it up that way perfectly fine. Just use the same webhook URL for every single one of these three actions. But after that, you're all set. You just go live and you wait for people to like give you money or give you subs or like just talk or get banned or whatever. And everything should be logged into your Discord server. The marker one, by the way, you will need to go into the commands tab and then turn on the exclamation mark marker command. But once you've done that, 
you can just type in exclamation mark marker, whatever you want, and then whatever you type here should appear in that Discord server. Also, if there are certain events that you don't want to be logged at all, for example, if you don't care about logging every single new follower, you can just disable the new follow event in the stream events action. It's pretty straightforward. If you've used StreamerBot before, you know what you're doing here. But that's pretty much it. Can you guys like tell Twitter how cool I am? I'm trying to like get mega famous. Okay, um, enjoy the next YouTube video you're gonna watch. Who, who is it? Mudahar, Asmongold, whoever you watch, I don't know you.